putting in multiple calendar events in Google Calendar is a pretty slow process. There's a really easy way to put in multiple events all at once, and it's using a spreadsheet. Now you can do this in Excel, but it's just as easy to do it in Google Docs. I'll put a link to a document that you can open in the description um, that's an example file. But basically, fundamentally, all you need to make sure is that you have these headers in your spreadsheet file. Subject, start date, start time, end date, end time, an all day event, if that's true or false, and a description which goes inside the appointment. Now it's important that those are in order um, and that that's all that's in your spreadsheet. Basically what you do is go through, make sure that the start and end date are correct, the same day if it's a one day event. Um, your start and end times are correct and that you have either false or true for the all day event. Then you come in, come in here and put in whatever you need, so it might be my uh, sister's birthday on this particular day, and then here I might say uh, go to her house for dinner. So I put in my description of each event and I put in the subject. So the subject is what you will see in the calendar, it's the name of the appointment. When you have finished all that, you go to File, Download As, and Comma Separated Values. And in Excel, I believe it's uh, where you export. This is going to come down into my downloads. I'm going to go into Google Calendar. I'm going to go to the settings. I'm actually going to create a new calendar because um, when you when you put in uh, multiple events into the calendar, it goes in really quickly. But if you for some reason need to delete the events, you have to delete them one at a time. So. Sometimes creating an extra calendar, so I've made called this test calendar, is just a good idea because then you can delete the whole calendar and all of the calendar events go with it. So I'm going to go to settings one more time, so now I have this extra calendar. This time I'm going to click on import calendar. When I go to import calendar, I can choose which one I want it to go into. So I put in the test calendar and choose my file from my downloads, which is this calendar upload file. I'm going to press import and it tells me that um, 13 events have gone in successfully. I'm going to go back to the calendar and then I'm going to roll up this way and we can see that these events are in and if I go to the next week all of those 13 events have all gone in together and then when I click on this event here I also have the description in here as well. So this is a super quick and easy way to put in multiple events in Google Calendar. If you have any questions drop me a line. And otherwise, I hope this has been helpful.